Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is find the distinct difference array. In this question, we're given an array called nums of length n. The distinct difference array is also going to be of length n as the nums array and each element inside the difference array is going to be equal to the number of distinct elements in the suffix subtracted from the number of distinct elements in the prefix. So suffix is all the elements to its right and prefix is going to be all the elements to its left including that element and we have to return the difference array as the output. Now let's take this example and see how we are forming the output. So I've taken the same example given to that is the nums array. Now we have to find the difference array so let's create the difference array. I created the two hash sets because we need the duplicate values in the prefix and suffix hash set. So we start off with the first element i is pointing at 0. We check its prefix there is no element to its left but we have to include that element because the range is going to be 0 to i for prefix and i plus 1 to n minus 1 for suffix. So we include that element to the prefix and now i plus 1 is starting at index 1 until index 4. So all the elements present from 1 to 4. So 2 until 5 will be added into the suffix. So using a for loop 2, 3, 4 and 5 are going to be added into the suffix hash set because all are unique, all are going to be added. Now we have the two hash sets. We have to calculate the difference at i is equal to 0. So length of the prefix hash set is 1, length of the suffix hash set is 4. So difference is 1 minus 4, that is minus 3. Now i is pointing at 2. Now i is 2. The prefix elements are 1 and 2 and suffix elements are 3, 4, 5. Length of prefix hash set is 2 length of suffix has set is 3 so 2 minus 3 is minus 1 so minus 1 will be inserted at index position 1 now now let's increment i i is pointing at 2 the prefix elements are 1 2 3 so those three are unique and those will be added into the prefix has set suffix has set 4 and 5 will be added length of prefix has set is 3 length of suffix has set is 2 so difference is 3 minus 2 which is 1 so 1 will be added into the difference of 2. Now let's increment i. i is pointing at 3. The prefix has set is 1, 2, 3, 4. Suffix has set is only 5. Length of prefix has set is 4. Length of suffix has set is 1. So the difference is 4 minus 1 which is 3. So 3 will be added at difference of 3. Here i is equal to 3 inside the nums array. So its corresponding element will be added as difference into the difference of 3. Now let's go for the next element i is pointing at 4 prefixes all the elements to its left including i 1 2 3 4 5 and suffix there is no element to its right so suffix will be empty length of prefix is 5 length of suffix is 0 so 5 minus 0 is equal to 5 so 5 will be added at difference of 4 because i is equal to 4 so difference of 4 will be 5. Now go for the next iteration. In the next iteration, i is pointing at 5, which is outside the nums array. So we end the iteration and whatever is present inside the difference array will be returned as the output. Now let's try to implement these steps inside a Java program. Coming to the function given to us, this is the function name and this is the input array nums given to us and the return type is also going to be an integer representing the difference array. So let's start off by creating the output array called difference which is also going to be of the input nums length. Now we are going to iterate through the nums array from left to right. Now as I said let us declare the first hash set for prefix elements. So this hash set is going to contain integers. So prefix is going to include that element and all elements to its left. So that is why we are iterating from 0 including that element that is why we are doing less than or equal to. We are going to use another for loop which will start from 0 until that element. So we are going to add all those elements inside the prefix hash set. So since hash set does not contain duplicate values we are going to get all the unique elements to its left and including that element we are storing it inside the prefix hash set. Now let's declare the second hash set called suffix hash set. This is also going to contain integers. Now we are going to start from the element to its right till the end of the nums array and we are going to add all those elements pointing at j into the suffix hash set. So again as this is a hash set it will only take unique values so we have the distinct elements inside the suffix hash set. Now we build the difference array 
So in each iteration, we are going to insert one element inside the difference array. So I will start from zero. So we are adding the zeroth element inside the difference array in the first iteration. So we are subtracting prefix has such length minus suffix has such length. So prefix dot size will give you the length of the has set of prefix and suffix dot size is going to give you the length of the suffix has set. So the difference is going to be stored inside diff of i and this will happen for all the elements present inside the difference array. And finally outside the for loop we are going to return the difference array as the output. Now let's try to run the code. The test cases are running. Let's submit the code. And a solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n square where n is the length of the nums array and the space complexity is also O of n because you're using a hash set to compute the output. That's it guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.